John Pendry is a member of the United Church in Sydney on Vancouver Island, and he is the past owner of Pendry Farms. Now in his 80s, John tends his garden and watches his son run the farm. We were fortunate to get a tour with John, and it came with his advice gleaned from many years of raising cows and producing milk for Island Farms. Yeah, they're all numbered, and they're numbered with our number is the big number, and the small barcode number there is from the federal government. Every animal that's born in Canada now, they get a tag on their shoulder. If there's any disease problems, they know where the cow is born. Yeah. We, we uh, tagged our cattle for years. Oh, of course. We didn't have that barcode on the yeah. 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 number 17. Yeah. Want something to eat, I think. Maybe meat. <laughs> well, this is, must be the cow scraper. Does that scrape up all the manure? Yeah, and stuff? It, it, it puts it down a channel. And it oh, just down there. Just keeps cleaning it off. Yeah. So okay, And right. that goes three or four times a day. Wow. So right now it's lifted. Uh, it's being pulled back. Yeah, it's now. being pulled back. Right. And that one should be going down. There's the pulley. And it just pulls that all along there and cleans everything up. Well, this cow likes to have its back rubbed, and uh, the cow owner has bought himself a, a back scratching device for the cows. And they uh, rub up against there. And a motion activated back scratcher. Seem to quite like that. A happy bunch of cows. Oh, brother. Oops. Right there. Oh, there, he got a rub there. Elizabeth enjoying a visit to the, the farm. <laughs> Elizabeth's now entering a, a cornfield here. We're looking for the fall rye. They, they drill in, there'll be three or four rows between, of grass between each row, and, and when it's cut, they must have missed this part. Well, there's it's always a, it's always a hard, a hard thing to do because everything else has got to be done at the same time. Yeah, the corn is not quite. You wouldn't like to eat corn that's that no. yellow. It's pretty, you know, it's pretty you tough. Dig your fingernail. It's oh man! No juice Is it like hard? If this was October, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> if this was October, the whatever it is, ten. Yeah. I'd say it's. This, this is what feeds them out. Yeah, it comes out the spout there. That gate, that gate lifts off. And big knives in there that, that twirled around. Yep. Can a person climb up there and have a look? Oh, or? sure, right here. Right here, let's you operate the... Don't slip. Don't slip, okay. <laughs> Make sure your feet are... Oh, you gotta have a look down there, Liz. That's, this is a mi mixing device. Yeah, that's right. We call it the lunch bucket. <laughs> Here, Liz, I'll take a picture. So this gets corn and silage and grass Sorry, and silage, hay, grain, everything. It's on a load cell, so they weigh in how much corn silage, how much grass silage, and the grains measured in, how much hay. You're right. There's and not a lot. Each herd varies. 
depending upon what stage they're at. Yeah, the cows that are fresh get a, a, a higher protein mix. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, that's quite something down there. It's called the lunch box. Yeah. I was at sea, climbing up and down ladders. Yeah, well, you're an old yeah. hand then. This squeezes out the moisture out of the manure, big barrel, and then they reuse yeah, it gets, the it gets squeezed out here. squeeze out the manure. Goes, goes back in there. There's the liquid going oh, there. In here. And here's the salt. I don't know how it does it, but that slow rotation. And the fact that it's manure gets the temperature up to 129.6 degrees oh. right now. And that's, that's enough. Warm. That's enough to kill the organisms. It's, it's, okay. it's usually up to about 135 or 40. And that's dry enough to use the bedding. And once it's used for bedding, then it can be fed to them again? No, well, no, 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 just for bedding. System. They don't ever eat it again. Oh, they oh. lie on it. We eventually poop in it. Poop in it. And it gets gonna, scraped up again, and it and gets put take, back put, into the put the manure back on the on the farm. Oh, I see. It goes back in the field. Yeah. So it gets kind of used more well, or this, less. This is now. This is the second or third time around. I think. Oh, really? They're really basically you no know, sawdust left. No. You no. can't identify it. No. And so long as it's dry. And do you add a little bit of lime to it? I see. Yes, they do. Just to help it. And that, that's to kill any bacteria that's in the in the stalls. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Those others are pretty open to infection. Yeah. So we try and have every block there that we can. Absolutely. When the cows eat the milk, there's a clean and this is what comes out. This is like Smells pretty clean. Smells pretty clean. Doesn't smell bad. No, not too bad. <laughs> no. But this is where you dump it once you scrape it off the. No, this is all automated. There's a pump that mixes the trough up. I can show you the pump. Oh, wait, is it? This video was brought to you by Cove View Accommodations, one and two bedroom suites located in Deep Cove, North Vancouver, British Columbia.